guys, today, the premiere on here, on this channel, we have the Aionic Arms Alpha Comp, the first made of steel Glock grip. Hey Freunde, ich habe ein Video in Deutsch gemacht. Schaut mal rein. Okay guys, as always, the gun is clear and safe, no ammunition here. And today I got a guest here, or maybe I'm the guest, <laughs> but let's uh, introduce Zach. Hey guys. How do you want me to introduce myself? <laughs> hey guys, I'm hey Zach. Guys, that's cool. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm the guest here at Vienna Arsenal and he's an uh, instructor at Bravo 06. Huge shout out to Vienna Arsenal and to Bravo 06 and Tech Merch, where you can get tactical merchandise for women and men. You got the prototype um, from Yonic Arms, mm -hmm. so you have a lot of knowledge about the gun. Yeah, uh, I'll let you talk about this. So, this is one of the uh, few prototypes they've got, and it is a fantastic little gun. Um, I've got a couple, a couple hundred rounds through it, probably close to, close to about two thousand rounds through it now, um, and I have just absolutely fallen in love with it. It is a fantastic little gun for competition shooting, primarily is what it was originally designed for. Um, some of the, the coolest things about it that I, I want to talk about are the design, uh, how it was made, and what it was made out of. So this is actually, as far as the frame goes. Uh, it is actually a 3D printed frame. The slide is a standard Glock OEM frame, or I'm sorry, slide, but the frame is completely 3D printed from uh, 714 steel, which is basically just stainless steel. But uh, it was just really cool to see a 3D printed gun this this size, this weight, you know, and this with that, that that can do what this one does. So that was one of the coolest things about it. A couple of other really nice features that it has is the grip modules here. You can see they're kind of different colors. Uh, I opted to change these out with the different color one to try to kind of make the grips pop. It came to us with um, black ones. So it was all one color, everything was all the same. And I was like, hey, it would be cool to you know change these out and, and you know make it make it look a little bit cooler. <laughs> it so, looks awesome. And the guy the guy over there was was really cool with that and he was like, yeah, oh, he was all about it. So we changed that out. Um, but they're interchangeable and they are actually the company is working with uh, industry leaders with um, sights and, and grip modules and stuff like that to come out with a whole bunch of extra stuff so you can change these out to your own preference you can change them out to whatever is available whenever they release and I think that's gonna be really cool I think that's gonna be a, a really cool way to be able to customize it but also make it you know a little bit more fit to your hands um, so a lot of cool options coming down the pipeline with that another feature that I'm a huge fan of is the fact that it has a flared magwell I don't know if you guys can see that very well but it is a flared magwell so it gives you a little bit of extra play when it comes to uh, inserting a magazine um, and that is not something that a lot of companies have done but it is something that a lot of them are kind of starting to yeah um, does HK do that on there I think the VP9 mm, I as, a, as I know Walther did a lot of them like Walther, the yeah. steel frame mm -hmm. already has it yeah sure. a lot of the companies that are trying to do something similar to this that are you know yeah. competition Designed More gun, yes. They're they're starting to do that, and Aionic Arms followed, you know, right along with that, and they have theirs is fantastic. It's nothing crazy obtrusive, um, but it is very very well done, and it works quite well to get those reloads very quickly. Um, so that's another thing that I'm I'm a huge fan of is that that extended magwell. And then the the last kind of feature I'll talk about here, I'm gonna close this slide, but that is clear. Yeah. We're all safe there. But that last feature that we can talk about is that beaver tail. It's got quite a large beaver tail. Um, yeah. And what I really like about that is that it completely covers the back of the hand there and it allows you to get a really, really high grip without the, sh the threat of a uh, slide bite. I don't know if anybody's ever had slide yeah. bite, but that is, <laughs> it's not a fun experience. I know a sick. Yeah, it's a uh, one. <laughs> yeah, but the, the Aonic Arms Alpha Comp has kind of eliminated the possibility of 
slide bite because of that beaver tail and it just gives you a really really good high grip on it gives you a lot of positive control and it really just kind of locks that in combination with the texture on the grip and all that stuff really locks the gun into your hand which is awesome um, so the last time I shot this thing was at a uh, two gun competition so rifle and pistol this was my pistol and oh my god that thing every single time I got a good positive grip out of the holster it was locked into the hand I was able to get right up on target and start firing and you know, easy to control because of the the weight of it yeah uh, super easy to control the recoil and super easy to control um, those follow-on shots so fantastic um, fantastic system for that now talking about the weight uh, this particular one the the comp series the comp alpha comp model comes in at just under 50 ounces that's um, slide frame and an empty magazine okay under just under 50 ounces unloaded unloaded yeah. magazine uh just under 50 ounces the other model that they have the alpha carry is just under 40 ounces so it's somewhere in there and then uh later on down the road they're looking to release something called the alpha pro i don't have a whole lot of information on that one but from what i've been told that one is going to be a little bit heavier than this um and they are looking between 50 and 53 ounces so up there with uh, some of the heavier competition guns and, and stuff like that. But I'm excited to see what else they come out with that they can improve on from this. Because if this is like their, you know, their cool one, Flagship. what is the, yeah, what is the <laughs> pro going to be? That's going to have extra features. That's so, cool. Yeah, yeah, that'll be really neat. The the company out there, Aonic Arms, is taking, they're, they're, they're looking to get this thing into production and into the hands of, of shooters by the end of the year. So I was told they're looking to do it by uh, Q3 this year, 2022. Uh, and they're trying to be able to take pre-sales uh, in Q2. Now, those aren't, oh, nice. you know, those are tentative dates. Those aren't rock solid. Yeah. But you can be on the lookout for them um, in the near future. And they are trying to get this thing out into the pans of people and, and get it into production sooner rather than later. So, and they're doing a great job of, of getting this stuff worked out. That's pretty much all I have to say about the Aonic Arms. They do a lot of cool stuff. The fact that it was 3D printed um, is just really cool. Now, that's one thing I actually need to talk about is they aren't all going to be 3D printed. Uh, as awesome as that was and as much as that was their dream, that was just, uh, from what I was told, it was a little more expensive. Yeah. Um, expensive. And that would have been translated to the individual, right? Yeah. So to, in order to, to keep everything at a, at a reasonable cost, a reasonable price, they're moving to CNC machining. So they're going to get some CNC milled uh, lower receivers or frames, um, and they are... The same they're supposed to be the same weight it's obviously going to be the same precision they're very very dedicated to attention to detail yeah. making sure everything is just absolutely perfect so um they're going to get these things cnc machine because that was the most precise way that they could do it oh, at yeah. a cheaper cost so that it was cheaper for you and i if we wanted to buy these things so the the production ones will be cnc machine but it'll be the same weight it's amazing if you have it in your hand like the, the weight does not feel overwhelming yeah it's like it it it's like it belongs to your hand. It's like there's no, and it's not front heavy. Yeah. It's not. It's well balanced. Uh, it's yeah. not all in the front. It's not all in the back. Exactly. And like even for me as a Glock noob, <laughs> um, shooting this was amazing, and it felt just right. Oh yeah, um, the little cutouts that it here, mm -hmm. um, so you can fit your finger in. It all feels natural. Yeah, which is he, awesome. He, the, the original designer put a lot of effort into making sure all of the, the cuts and the contours and the divots and everything were as natural but as advantageous as possible. Yeah. So everything feels nice and comfortable. You pick this thing up and it just feels like it's a part of your hand, like you were saying. Yeah. But then when you really get down to you know the brass tacks, you can see, hey, this is cut in a specific way so that it fits my hand in a specific yeah. way and it, and it makes it more natural. It makes it a lot more comfortable. And one of the big things that I'm a fan of is the way that he's got this, this grip. When you get a good grip on it, you can see how the knuckles kind of align really, really well with, oh, the, yeah. with the magwell there. Yeah. A lot of other guns, if the grip is too fat or the grip is too thin, it'll tend to misalign the knuckles, right? Oh, nice. And I've realized as an instructor teaching new students, when you get that knuckle misalignment, if it's too far on the right-hand side of the gun, too far on the left-hand side of the gun, when they actually go to squeeze the, the grip and make sure they have a good firm grip, it has a tendency to shift your point yeah. of aim, right? Um, 
but if they're perfectly in line, yeah. whenever you squeeze, it's it's not always perfect, but it's a lot easier to keep that gun yeah. on target. So they put, a, like I was saying, they put a lot of attention to detail, um, and they made sure that everything about this thing was just a easy to pick up, easy to shoot gun, so that not only can new shooters shoot it well, but experienced shooters can shoot it that much better. Guys, as you see, this gun is amazing. It's so new. Yeah. Uh, and you saw it first here. And um, we're gonna show you how it's working out on the range just in a couple of seconds. And um, I think you have a lot more footage of this. Maybe you can send it over and yeah. then we can add it here. So um, happy to. You guys have a lot of information to process because when he's shooting is uh, this gun is like there's no recoil absolutely no recoil it's pretty crazy I actually compared it to uh, I have a CZ P10C that is I built it for competition shooting yeah. you know ported barrel uh, or compensated barrel you know heavy extra weight on the front all this stuff and Which is did. also here on a channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, you did a review yes. of that one. So that CZ, I put it up directly up against this one to kind of measure the muzzle flip. And this one with no fancy bells or whistles had the same, if not less, flip. You see, and there's so, not even a comp on it. So. Nope, no, compensa no compensator, nothing. And it just, oh my god, this gun is amazing. Cool. And thank you guys, and uh, thank you Ionic Arms for um, letting me put this on the channel. Yeah. If you're interested in more, just visit uh, the guys at Vienna Arsenal and Bravo Series 6. Get yourself some training and yeah, see you next time.